Central, live, late breaking. You're watching KMAC. Today, it's Texas Tech and OSU. And for the keys to the game, this is KMAC Red Raider Nation's Countdown to Kickoff. Sponsored by Covenant Medical Group Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. We felt like we embarrassed the double T. We were on national television and we lost by 40. I can't speak for Oklahoma State. I can't speak for any of their players. But after what they saw uh, last week, they're watching the same film that, that we watched. Honestly, I, I would I wouldn't have a circle right now. I wouldn't expect much out of us. So if that's what they're expecting, then I, I can't wait for this Saturday to, to show them what we actually are. And welcome into Red Raider Nation's Countdown to kick off live here at Jones AT&T Stadium. David Collier alongside Eric Kelly and Travis Ruffrey. We heard him there, Eric, uh, trying to make up for what was a rough week in Norman. Week. Yeah, and you can say whatever you want. Facing a top 16 on the road, having a backup quarterback. But all in all, it comes down to this Texas Tech disappointing in the performance that they put up against the Oklahoma Sooners. Yeah, for the next half hour, we get you ready for the next game against the Oklahoma State Cowboys. 47th all-time meeting between these two schools straight ahead we hear from jet duffy who will make his first start of the season for the red raiders and we also had our friends from oklahoma city join us to break down an oklahoma state team that comes to town ranked 21st in the country and later ryan hyatt will join us with his prediction of today's game in the final call. Meanwhile, it didn't take long for Matt Wells to make his call on the starting quarterback for this game. Yeah, David, last week, obviously, leading up to Oklahoma, Texas Tech kind of tight lip, but this week, not the case. Matt Wells, on Monday, early on, decided to name Jet Duffy not only the starting quarterback for the Oklahoma State game, but also going forward. Duffy, certainly the more impressive of the two in Norman, in for all but two drives, 120 passing yards, added 16 on the ground on seven carries, played in six Big 12 games last season in relief, but this will be his first time facing the Cowboys. Oh, I learned a lot, you know. Um, that was really my first time, honestly, getting out there since high school and being in front of uh, the top defenses in the country. And I, I learned a lot. You know, there was a lot of stepping stones, a lot of things that I got to see that I that I got to see that I didn't do, you know, after the season, after watching my tape. So I learned a lot from it. I saw it in the game first, and then video confirmed it. Um, thought he was aggressive. Um, thought he made some good plays. Room for improvement, just like me and the rest of them. Um, but uh, I think he gives us the best chance to win. Now the Pokes starting a quarterback with limited experience as well. This is uh, more because of youth. Freshman Spencer Sanders has started all five games for the Cowboys. Like Jet Duffy, can run and pass the football. He's completed 64% of his attempts for just over 1,000 yards, also rushing for just under 400 yards this season. Also like Duffy, he's committed some turnovers as well. Has eight touchdown passes this season to five interceptions. Tex defense isn't facing a guy that puts up video game numbers like Jalen Hurts did a week ago, but according to head coach Mike Gundy, his quarterback uh, certainly has leveled up over these first five games. Just to wear vision, just to, you know, anything else you do, the more you do something, you know, new video game comes out, and the more you play it, you're a lot better. I mean, it's it's really the same thing, same concept. Did you ever play Donkey Kong? Yeah. Like, when you started on Donkey Kong, you could never get past the, 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 the elevator lever. And that, that third jump you had to make to get up to get over, it took a while. But after you did it, you know, 50, 60 times, you could make that jump, and then you were set. Was he at the elevators yet? <laughs> no, he's on the barrels. No, I'm joking. He's not on the barrels. <laughs> the barrels is easy. That's the easy one, you know. He, he's doing fine. He, he's on the structure now, and he's conquering that. Can you relate to the whole Donkey Kong thing? Uh, no, a little bit before my time. All I know it is from Mario Kart and those type of updated games. Uh, okay, well, at least you kind of got an idea about it. Certainly Mike Gundy going more Mike Leach with that answer. The, uh, meanwhile, the Texas Tech defense going to need an answer to all of these offensive weapons, not just Spencer Sanders. When we return here on Countdown to Kickoff, we break down that Pokes offense and defense coming up with our friends from Oklahoma City. And also had board games is back. We take a unique look at this matchup after the break.